So, hello boys and girls, um, greetings to all of you and uh, this video will show you how to write a letter of advice you know, especially you want to give some practical suge suggestions to other people so there we go, a letter of advice now, uh, so uh, to begin with, you want to ask the question, why do we have to write a letter of advice? Well, uh, uh, there are a few reasons. Well, of course, the most straightforward answer would be, well, you want to give suggestions to people, uh, like I said uh, at the beginning of the video. But, you know, with this question, it also reflects a few points. Well, first of all, well, people ask you for uh, advice well mainly because you are trusted so there is a trust between the the person who asked you for advice and you who is going to uh, give advice to the recipient so there is the trust here and of course secondly your advice is valued and that's why uh, people ask you for suggestions for your point of views um, your advice is highly valued by others and uh, lastly um, they want to see your support to feel that uh, no matter what problem they what problems they are having they are supported by you so uh, these are the reasons why you have to write a letter of advice and uh, of course in your letter you need to show that trust uh, you need to is very important also to show that your advice is of some sort of van value it's practical and lastly don't forget to show your support in your letter so now let's look at uh, a sample here uh, you know uh, we, we learn best with examples so here is a sample of a letter of advice and let's move on to the next page so let's say uh, we're going to write a letter to a boy called Jonathan and he's having some problems, uh, some sort of problem uh, and uh, usually in a letter of advice we start with uh, dear somebody and uh, well because uh, it's usually from a friend <coughs> I mean to a friend, you're writing this letter to a friend uh, a friend of yours uh, it's more suitable for you to use the first name of the person instead of uh, calling them with their family name or their last name instead of saying dear Mr. Chen where that sounds uh, totally uh, strange uh, it would be more suitable to use the word uh, the first name of the person dear Jonathan so don't forget about it of course uh, well it's a dear friend of yours so dear Jonathan here the first paragraph uh, some students often have a uh, problem uh, writing the first paragraph and so uh, looking at the first paragraph here we know we want to achieve a few points and if you have these ideas here you will have no problem writing the opening paragraph well of course first of all you want to give the background information in other words you want to uh, introduce the problem that uh, Jonathan is having here and uh, very importantly of course you want to show understanding your support in the first paragraph and uh, with a positive tone and you don't want to be too negative you want uh, your friend to feel better of course I don't have you don't have to make it too long keep it short uh, because uh, your advice will be given in the following body paragraphs so here uh, we need to keep it a bit shorter so let's see <coughs> uh, dear Jonathan I understand that you're currently feeling frustrated and upset it's true that our parents often can't see the pressure we are having at school I have the same feeling too I'm therefore here to lend you a helping hand and these problems can be solved I truly hope my advice is constructive enough to help you so you see you're trying to give uh, the background information here uh, so what Jonathan is facing is that uh, well his parents don't seem to understand uh, the pressure that he is going through at school 
and so you want to give that uh, rephrase that background a little bit uh, and then you want to try to give show that you understand by using well I understand that you're feeling frustrated and upset I have the same feeling as well so uh, showing that uh, you are with him and, and that would make him uh, feel a lot um, better more confident and uh, you know listen to your advice more open to your advice and so you see uh, well I'm here to give you a helping hand to give you some help and the problems can be solved and so don't worry about it I hope my advice is constructive enough to help you alright <coughs> so this is how you may start the letter showing understanding rephrasing the problem and keep it short and moving on to your first piece of advice let's move on to the first piece of advice <coughs> so for the body paragraphs um, and of course you are giving your suggestions here where and it's very important to organize your ideas logically and therefore you want to use some signpost words uh, that is uh, some connectives to put your ideas together and uh, well try to make your ideas sound more convincing and uh, try to convince Jonathan that uh, your ideas will help and uh, whenever necessary whenever possible give details to explain your points so let's go first and foremost well right here I've highlighted the connective here for you so to as a start first and foremost first of all you should tell your mother that you are determined to do well at school but uh, you are under pressure and then you can try to seek help from our class teacher and social worker and they probably will tell you explain to you how this stress is unhealthy and could actually pre prevent you from achieving success so uh, if you look at this uh, body paragraph again which is um, the paragraph that introduces the first piece of advice well it is that uh, uh, talk to your mum and explain to your mum your situation to put it simply and then also you may want to talk to your class teacher and your s the, the school social worker and try to get help seek help from them and because they will explain uh, your situation and uh, help uh, Jonathan feel better so this is where we want to okay give details how telling our teacher and how telling the school social worker may help in some way so you try to show the relationship between the two here <coughs> between this and that okay that is how you give details right here so that's basically the first piece of advice you are giving Jonathan and moving on to the next paragraph well you know you group similar ideas here together telling your mom telling the school teacher and telling the social worker talk to them and uh, let them you know explain the problem uh, to you better now moving on to the second piece of advice and uh, this time I'm starting uh, with the question have you also thought of changing your mother's mind okay so you try to use this question to introduce uh, Jonathan to the second point the second pieces of advice to start with conjunction again to start with you can ask the social worker to talk to your mother this time and give her your mother some advice and so you're trying to ask the social worker and bring the social worker to your mother and help you solve the problem besides you may as well discuss your situation with your father this time so apart from apart from introducing <coughs> the social worker to your mother you want to uh, talk to your father in order to help change your mother's mind 
Alright, so that's another idea that you're offering to Jonathan there. Besides, you may as well discuss your situation with your father first, so that you can let him, your father, feel your anxiety and worries. Why? Well, because who knows? Your father may come up with some awesome ideas and may help the situation. So, uh, going back to the first sentence of this uh, paragraph, you, you want to l uh, uh, convince Jonathan to change your mother's mind with the help of the social worker and with the help of your father. Alright, so that's basically the main idea, uh, the main point of your second piece of advice. Now, is there anything else you want to say to Jonathan? Yes, let's move on. Um, the special thing about the next paragraph is that you are, up, I mean, after, after giving uh, Jonathan some very practical advice, uh, getting, seeking help from other parties, you want to use your personal examples, your personal examples to help Jonathan. Alright. How can that be done? So let's see. I once felt that I had so little time and didn't have many friends. My solution was to join some activities such as joining the football team, joining the football team, or going to the church, and make some new friends. And so here I am trying to give my own example. to help explain to Jonathan how the situation can be solved. Alright, so that's what I did. I joined some football team, I went to church, I met some new friends there, and this is how I felt at first, but I felt better after I did this and that. And so you try to tell Jonathan that this works too. Why not try uh, my methods too? Now, and another thing that uh, I'm trying to do with this paragraph is, apart from using my personal examples, I want to bring up the less effective ideas to show a contrast between ideas that work f worked for me and ideas that may not work that well. And so let John, by doing so, you let uh, Jonathan have a choice and think more clearly about what can be done and what uh, he better not do. So this is what I say uh, here. This is even more effective than playing on the computer and chatting with people on the internet and that will only make matters worse. So you try to bring up the less effective ideas um, that is, well, playing on the computer, chatting with people, strangers on the internet, because that will only make matters worse. That, that those won't work, Jonathan. Don't try to, you know, just um, addic get addicted to playing uh, computer games, or well, uh, you. It may not be that useful to chat with strangers on the internet. That won't work. So try not to do it because that's not as effective as the other ideas that I propose to you. So uh, you see, so the key uh, trick here is, apart from giving your uh, suggestions directly, you want to make use of your personal examples and you want to show the contrast between methods that work and methods that are less effective. So let uh, Jonathan make a smarter, better choice. What about the closing paragraph? Well, some people like to summarize their ideas once more in the last paragraph. Well, uh, no harm, you can do it. Uh, you may want to summarize everything for your friends in the last paragraph but you may also and it's even more important to show your support again and to use a positive tone again 
and to encourage them to try the ideas out and that to me is even more crucial in the last paragraph so let's see all in all uh, in conclusion in summary there is no quick fixed solution there is no quick fix solution don't expect the situation to improve in a very short while because there is no quick fix solution but but I sincerely hope that my advice can help brighten up your day so you try to show support again you know support is very important uh, because there is the trust between Jonathan and you and you want to reassure him again that um, you are not alone I'm here with you and uh, uh, you will get better soon Jonathan stay positive and know that you always have my support again a very positive tone showing support great support there let's hope that things will turn for the better soon so that's uh, often what uh, you can say in a letter of advice in the last paragraph to 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 you know to can, uh, to color the whole letter with a more positive tone i look forward to hearing good news from you in your next letter so bye bye so that's basically the, the, the key purpose of the last paragraph you don't want to uh, stuff in another new idea here you don't want to introduce a new suggestion here but instead you want to give him confidence hope so that uh, you know things will become better now the last part the last part here uh, is the closing well this is a letter so it's important to close it properly and uh, how can we do that well basically you put your name there and with some kind of closing words some kind of greetings and usually because it's a because this is a an informal letter uh, a letter between friends so you don't really say yours sincerely or yours faithfully well that those don't work because they they sound uh, too formal and uh, instead for a letter like this uh, simply say you know love or cheers best wishes or here i'm using best wishes here yeah that's what you can do and then it's a letter sign your name and then your name well you don't have to say well christy lee no 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 you you are a friend of jonathan so, so simply say christy so you start with dear jonathan and then you close with christy all right so that's about it so i hope you have a better idea of how to write a letter of ad advice with this sample now, <coughs> uh, before I uh, round up the whole uh, video here, I'd like to give you a little more support by introducing some more useful suggestions. So, because it's a letter of advice, and how can we, you know, present our ideas one by one and to make them sound more convincing? And here is, here are some ideas. So, firstly, uh, use a question. How about how about talking to a friend? How about uh, why don't you talk to your best friend? So uh, sometimes you want to use a you know question to introduce your ideas maybe we should let ourselves calm down first uh, maybe we should so you sound less certain and let uh, your friend have a choice or i'd recommend letting ourselves calm down first so now be very careful here in some cases that i'm introducing here you need to adjourn to go with uh, the previous verb okay or the previous uh, preposition or have you thought about uh, seeing the problem from another angle again gerund here with the preposition be very careful with the grammar
so uh, you can either use a question to introduce your idea or simply I recommend or maybe we should a few more examples a few more phrases to help you give uh, your ideas you should always try to you sound very firm you should try to you should all you could always try to see the problem from an, another angle or you may as well get a healthier hobby or couldn't we get a healthier pot hobby don't you think it's a good idea to you know you keep asking questions so that uh, your friend can think for himself or herself or what uh, is the best thing to do and sometimes you want to go more directly I suggest that we should learn to express our emotions okay I suggest that we should so that's uh, another very firm way to express your ideas <coughs> all right so that's about it for the recommended uh, expressions here and finally the situation for our composition uh, for some hands-on practice and here is uh, the situation now let's go through this together all right let's see most local schools have switched to online classes for months due to COVID-19 so it's a very realistic topic here making use of our uh, daily life the situation is frustrating to many students especially your best friend Sylvia Sylvia is a girl well, and she's having a very difficult time feeling totally frustrated because she finds it difficult to focus and learn effectively online and on top of that, uh, she's having more conflicts with her little brother because of the longer hours they spend together at home. And you have to write a letter to Sylvia to address, to solve, to fix her problems. You write about 350 words and you are Chris. So sign your letter, Chris. Now going back to the situation again in order to uh, be clear about what to write in your letter, and uh, the situation is the lockdown, the COVID-19 with the online classes. So as like what you are doing here, you're watching this video because we can't go to school. And so we need to do it online and uh, you are staying in your own bedroom and you can't see your teacher. And that can be quite frustrating. So Chris, you, you should start the latter showing your understanding and your support you are going through the same thing basically so you tell Sylvia that uh, you totally understand how frustrating it can be all right now the more important thing so what problems are uh, is Sylvia going through actually there are altogether three problems that she's having firstly she finds it difficult to focus secondly and she finds it difficult to learn effectively online that's a second problem the third problem she's having more conflicts with her pr brother because they are staying at home for longer hour for longer hours so you have problem number one problem number two and problem number three here so in other words in your letter try to f give suggestions on all three areas so what ideas do you have here will you ask Sylvia to you know have some tricks to help her focus using a timer for example uh, putting her mobile phone away for example asking her mother to help her in some way for example and how could she learn more effective online will we will you ask her to make a timetable for her studies will you ask her to make use of some online apps to help her study more effectively or will you ask her to form a study group with her classmates in order to help 
her study or learn more effectively. And for the last point, uh, avoiding conflicts with a brother. Well, what ideas do you have? Will you ask her to, you know, spend some time with a brother uh, every day to do puzzle together? For example, will you ask Sylvia to lock her bedroom door so that uh, she won't be disturbed by her brother? So I would uh, suggest that you give her like uh, maybe two suggestions here, two suggestions there, and two more suggestions there. So uh, 350 words shouldn't be too hard, giving uh, an introduction some suggestions, the main body here, body paragraphs and then the closing just like what I showed you previously with my sample. So all the best to your writing and uh, I, I hope you benefit from my PowerPoint presentation today. <laughs> Alright, so uh, have a very beautiful day and uh, I hope you benefit from the video and uh, mm. yeah so that's about it see you see you soon and i hope uh, you enjoy your writing bye bye